Sleep, and this is just a dream, Louis. A very, very realistic dream. Like that time you thought your pillow was a giant marshmallow, but then you started chewing on it and woke up with down in your mouth. It's just like that. And you're going to wake up soon, and everything's going to be okay. Just calm down, Louis. It's not real. just happened. Oh, the flag Maurice made. It's so worn out. I wonder what Maurice is doing now. <sighs> oh, you're still here. And you're still huge. I gotta go home. And so, thanks. Okay, let's get to it. This field won't clear itself. <sighs> Sorry, I panicked. 
I just... I've never seen anyone like you before. Who are you? Oh dear, someone's coming. Hurry up and hide! Come on, quick, hide! Somewhere! Uh, ah, no, 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 not there! Find a tree or something! Uh, forget it! Madame La Femme, don't be scared! It isn't dangerous! What are you talking about? You... you can't see it? See what? <gasps> oh, my! By my lustrous mane, what on earth is that? Oh, no! Don't worry! I'm pretty sure it doesn't want to eat us! I am joking, Louie! What's the matter with you? You look like you've seen a ghost. I... um... <clears throat> Here you are, some nice and tender asparagus. Thank you. Mom will be so pleased. Where is she, by the way? Mom? Uh, by the lake. Fishing. Yeah. Tell her we need to talk about that bill later. The bill. Of course. Don't forget. See you later, Louie. Bye, Madame Lefebvre. Huh. She didn't really see you. Oh, uh, I know that thing about my mom wasn't entirely true, but... Uh, anyhow, my name is Louis. Uh, what's your name? Do you have a name? It's okay. You don't have to talk. I actually was a late talker. My mom told me so. I was completely quiet, and then one day, out of the blue, I said, Potato! <laughs> That's kind of weird, huh? C could you? Could you come closer, please? Uh, may I? May I touch you? Whoa! You really are a ghost. A giant ghost. Can I call you... Ghost Giant? So, what happens if you touch me? <laughs> that tickles! Ah! plant the seeds before it starts to rain. The key. Where is the key? I'm sure I had it in my pocket. Oh no. Maybe I lost it by the lake. Or in the forest. Or in the house. Ugh. I always lose that thing. It feels so stupid. I'll go inside and look for it. Uh, perhaps you, you could look for it here? Great! Boring! Great again! All shiny things belong to me! <laughs> now, where to hide my precious treasure? Ah! Huh. Where was I? Pretty good hiding place, actually. The only problem is how to get it out. Hmm. Hello, shiny thing. I can see you. I love you, you know. Mwah. Ha! I found it! My apologies, but I believe I found it first. No! No, I'm pretty certain. Well, I am absolutely certain. I'm sorry, Mr. But you must be mistaken. Yeah. Oh. Fine. Keep it. There are more shiny things in the sea. Uh, thanks. <laughs> now we will sow the seeds, and the rain will fall, and the seeds will sprout and grow and grow and. No. Oh. 
I guess the rats got hungry this winter. Don't panic, Louise. There must be a solution. Of course! How obvious! You must go to town and buy more sunflower seeds. I know you don't want to, and you have absolutely zero money, but it'll be fine, because you're not alone anymore, Louise. You have a giant ghost following you around and helping you, and you have no idea why. But it's a good thing, and everything will be okay. Yeah! I'm going to tell you a secret. I've been teaching myself to drive, for emergency purposes only, and this is definitely an emergency. But what if someone sees me? I'll take the forest road. There's less traffic there. And I'll bring a disguise. Huh. I need something to make me look old enough to drive a car. Not too old to drive one either. If only I had a beard. Or a mustache. <gasps> Why not both? Hello, I'm a grown-up man driving my car like I've been doing for the past 30 years of being a grown-up. That should do the trick. Come on, car. Please, come on, car. Please. You stupid car. Mom used to push the car down the hill when it wouldn't start. Whoa! Ah, uh, careful! Oh, huh, great! Will you wait for me? Mirrors adjusted, seat belt on, hands on the wheel, deep breath. <gasps> this hill is really steep. Come on, car. Oh, hey, ghost giant, follow me! Good thing I know how to break. I think. This is why people avoid the forest road.
up this humongous boulder with my giant hand and throw it away! I could never have done it without you. Hey, do you know what we need? A secret handshake. Slap my hand. Come on, that's it. Now, uh, bump my fist? Like this. Whoa! <laughs> that's great. Slap, bump. That's our secret handshake. I wish I could tell Maurice about you. Oh well. Time to take off this beard. It's stuck! And it's so itchy! Help! Can't get Thanks. I still got an itch behind my ear. Can't reach it. Thank you. All right, let's go see Monsieur Tulip. Everything all right? Nice. Let's go. Let's do this. My tomatoes. I just. Oh, good. Yes. Monsieur Tulip's shop is open. Delicious. Tomatoes. They're so good for me. Young man. <clears throat> ah, I I haven't seen you in a while, Louis. Well Nor your mother. We've been very busy. Actually, we were just about to plant sunflowers. Louis. But then it turned out the rats had eaten all the seeds. I can't give you any more credit. What? I'm sorry, my dear boy, but your mother has too many unpaid bills. Where is she, by the way? At home. She sprained her ankle, so I hitched a ride with Madame Lefebvre. Ah, Madame Lefebvre. How is she these days? Is her mane still as lustrous? Er, uh, I guess? Listen, Louis. I'm all out of sunflower seeds. There was a shipment due this morning, but something must have happened to it. I'd go down to the harbor, but I'm simply too busy. I'll go. I'm not sure you can do this, Louis. After all, you're just a little boy. I have a very large friend. Pardon? Uh, nothing. I'll take care of it. I promise. Very well. Talk to the harbor master, Monsieur Cousteau. Okay, great. Thanks. Bon courage, young man. Those tomatoes? They are an affront to tomatoes everywhere. You're not worthy of my asparagus, Monsieur Bonbon. 
You're a disgrace to the vegetable trade. You're absolutely right, madam. In fact, I detest vegetables. Please remove your asparagus from my sight. I will indeed. Adieu. Adieu, madam. What? Louis, what are you doing here? Where's your mother? She's at the cemetery. You know how she loves tombs. But I told her about the bill, and she's definitely going to pay. Very well, then. See ya. Uh, have a nice day. Hmm. So, excuse me. Excuse me. I need to cross the bridge. Are you sure you want to do that? Or did society put that idea in your head? We're blocking this bridge as a statement. Why? Because there's, there's no true art there? in this town. So you won't let me through because you want more art? Little guy gets it. Good for you, little guy. Yes, so do. Me. Either way, we're all in this But no one appreciates true art in this godforsaken town. Instead, they pay me to paint what they can get for free when they look out the window. And really mushy. This town. I left the big city to find inspiration. Well, here I am. Why not? To paint Interesting to love and What's next? I just want to run out when you're past me as as I can. The concept of starving artists. Kind of Encore! 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 Free to follow my dreams. <laughs> but is it Please. art? Here I come. Not yet, I think. Um, come, come at me. I'm thinking about a bold choice, but something is missing. I'm thinking about. It's beautiful, but not quite done. Dark. Only make it darker. Darker. Raw. Dynamic. Smelly. <laughs> I'm thinking about darkness. The midnight sky. Extraordinary, but it needs a little something extra. I'm thinking about darkness. The midnight sky. <laughs> are a true artist. Hey, what's that? That's what? Over there. Et voila. Oh, time to display my shame. Oh, Ooh, such passion. Such vision. Magnifique. Did you paint this, madame? I... Actually, I'm not sure how it got there. Mm, don't be modest, madame. You're a great artist. You really think so? It's so subversive what you're doing. Pretending to be a phony landscape painter. But in secret, you're a revolutionary visionary. Why? Why, yes, I am. We salute you, madame. I'm Odile. 
by the way. Please, call me Nikki. I dig that. Huh. Well, that turned out pretty. Pretty? I guess you're an artist now, Ghost Giant. Let's go get those sunflower seeds. I said it's broken! What? Someone broke in? I, the crane! It doesn't work! A cane? Since when do you need a cane? <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, hi, matey. What can I do for you? Are you Monsieur Cousteau? The harbor master? Aye, lad. But not for long, I'm afraid. If I don't get this crane up and running, I won't be able to load and unload cargo from the ships. Yar. Is that the ship transporting sunflower seeds? Aye. And some mighty fine Wellington boots that I'm itching to put me feet in. These ones squeak. Okay. Um, well, what's wrong with the crane? It's been gutted. Some scurvy scallywag has taken off with its innards. And I can't leave me post. Yar. I'll look for the missing parts. Aye. What's your name, laddie? Louis. Louis, it's mighty kind of ye to help an old sea dog in need. Ahoy, Captain Pelicard! I got some unexpected help here! You collected kelp here? Really, this is not the time to discuss your interest in seaweed! <sighs> Yar! Hmm, I wonder what the missing parts look like. <laughs> What shall we do with the shrunken tail? What shall we do with the shrunken tail? What do we do with the shrunken tail? Earl is ready. Steady. Go! They're just tiny. Luckily, so am I. But the stairs are broken, and uh, I, I can't jump very far. Faith. Come on, Ghost Giant. Come on, Faith. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> great. Now let me have a look inside. I wish I could give myself a push. That hole Time is very small. Up this harbor. But so am I. All I gotta do is jump in the water. Piece of cake. Hey, a no ghost problem. giant. No problem at all. Sometimes I wonder. Maybe we're all cogs in a machine. That's great! Looks like there are three to go. Gotta have faith. I wish I had a pearl, and I'd be rich, and the scheme wouldn't be necessary. Oh well. <clears throat> Dear Monsieur Cousteau, be afraid, be very afraid, for it is I, the Master Thief. I used to be a captain like you, but then I was a captain. 
My sincere apologies, I can even see my reflection. I've ever made. No, you're handsome. No, you are. Ahoy! We got them all! I fixed it! Oh, blimey, me boy! You did it! What? Is the crane working? We have to start the crane. Would you do the honors? Stop it at you! Sink me! What happened? Yard. I'm sorry, me boy. This is too much for me. I'm taking a cork. Mr. Cousteau! Oh, oh when I... Oh, with that scurvy freebooter and that's the hempen jig. I guess it's up to us again. Maybe a fuse blue? Happens all the time back at the farm. Oh, that must be the generator! Or supernova space engine, as me and Maurice would like to call it. <laughs> Much cooler. <laughs> um, and it's broken. I think something is missing. Oh, my. So shy. I can even see my reflection. Hello there. Aren't you handsome? No, you're handsome. No, you are. Oh! Oh! I will always remember you. Get a move on! Fix the boiler! Hey! Get a move on! Fix that! Ooh, cannonball! Girl! Oh, look! Uh, thingamathingy? Oh, oh, oh dear! It's working! I think... I think that's it! Monsieur Cousteau, wake up! As much as I enjoy chatting with you, Monsieur Cousteau, you really need to unload those crates! Now! I need those sunflower seeds. Maybe... maybe you could do it, Ghost Giant. Me! I can't wait to get back to my soap! Street oh, um, <laughs> Did I say a rainbow? Careful now! Careful! Woo! 
Oh dear. Whoa! I hope Monsieur Jalip is pleased. There he is, the man of the hour. <laughs> Thank you, Louis. I'm not sure how you did it, but you did it. And here's your reward. A sack full of sunflower seeds, free of charge. Oh, thanks. This is just what we need. De rien. Now, would you please excuse me? These lilacs need my full attention. Oh, dear. It's Marie. What should I do? Hi, Maurice. Hi, Louis. Didn't see you there. Or maybe I was ignoring you, like you ignored me on our opening night. I'm sorry about that. I don't want your excuses. We had practiced for months. And we were magnificent. And we were about to show it to the world. Or at least the town. But you stood me up. You could have played on your own. It was a duet. How am I supposed to play a duet on my own? Do I have four arms? What am I? An octopus? An octopus has eight arms. I know that. Why didn't you show up at our recital? I... I... Don't say you had a cold. I had a cold. I thought we were friends. We are! Friends don't lie to each other. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So... That was Maurice. We're best friends. Or used to be, anyway. Let's go home. Come on, Ghosty. It's going to rain soon. We'd better go back. Stuck. It's just swell when you make things flow, you know? Okay, let's sprinkle some seeds. That's right! You're doing great! I could smash those clouds together and make them crackle. No rain clouds in sight.
Touch a cloud? I wonder if they feel as soft as they look. So fluffy and pretty damp. Soaring through the sky. That would be something. Not too fast! Not too fast! Everything's so tiny! There's my house! And there's that cord! Hello, house! Hello, town! <laughs> I'm a superhero! The incredible loud boy! We are related. Uh, my mom and I, not you and I. That is, if you're not the ghost of an ancient giant relative of mine. Mm. If she can't see you, though, I probably shouldn't tell her about you just yet. She gets spooked easily. <laughs> spooked. Mama! Look, just so you know, Sometimes my mom gets really sad. Like, really sad. But she always gets better. And this will cheer her up, I'm sure. Mama, guess what? The rats had eaten all the sunflower seeds, but I got a whole sack for free from Monsieur Tulip. And then we sowed them, and then it rained, and the seeds are already sprouting. It's like magic, it really is, and... Mom? Mom. <sighs> I'm tired, Louis. Sorry. <sighs> no, 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 no. This is bad. She'll get better. She always does. But... <laughs> sowing the sunflowers, and I made her worry. I have to think of something. I have to make her feel better. But what if I can't? This is bad. This is really bad. Why did you 
shrink. Is it because of me? I just ruin everything, don't I? <sighs> this is our home. If you want, I can show you around. Just point. Right after we took that picture, a jellyfish stung my toe. Mom kicked the jellyfish, and it stung her toe, too. Mom and Great Grandma, after Great Grandma died. That's Mom visiting her grandparents when she was a little girl. She always said she wanted to become the world's first sunflower farmer cellist when she grew up. One day, Mom told me to get in the car, and we drove all the way to the amusement park. She loved surprising me. Mom used to be a cellist and tour the world. Vienna, Moscow, New York, Tokyo. She loved it. Mom's a fan of the Garcia Magran novels, but sometimes they give her a headache because they're so complicated. Feeling. Some of these pictures are more important than the others, but which ones? Apple pie. Mom's favorite. Mom hasn't played the cello in years. She must miss it. I have a feeling. Some of these pictures are more important than the others, but which ones? Mom loves surprises. Wait a minute. Mom always says her three favorite things are me, music, and apple pie. I'm going to surprise her. Where did she put the cello? Wait. Here it is. Oh no, the bow. It's broken. What to do? Mm. What to do? Uh, think, Louis, think. Wait, now I've got it. Like, really, really got it. Oh, 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 I've got an idea. Let's go to town. Me. The future is bright and brimming with sugar. My kids, your loved ones. It's bad for their teeth, but good for their happiness. Oh, great. You're big again. Then I don't have to make up a new name for you, like Average Sized Ghost. All right, Louis. All you've got to do is convince Monsieur Debussy to sell you a cello bow, even though you don't have any money, and he's probably terribly upset with you for missing the piano recital. Oh, this is a bad idea. Maybe I should wait until tomorrow. Or next week. Hey, Ghost Giant. You're watching me, right? Secret handshake? High five! Or uh, three. Alright, Ghost Giant! Clench, then bump. Yes, that's the secret handshake! Oh, oh! Okay, Louis. Let's do this. Remember, 
Monsieur Debussy is a great fan of Mom, and he's a nice man. Deep, deep, deep inside, I think. about your lessons. Tell me, Louis, have you so much as glanced at the piano lately? I... I've been kind of busy. Busy? Too busy to give praise to Apollo and the muses? Too busy to celebrate the divine gift of music? I'm very disappointed. And so is Maurice. Did you know that he destroyed his piano in a fit of rage after you stood him up? He did? But that's all behind us now. We can begin practicing at once. I really want to, Monsieur Debussy, but I need to get a cello bow for my mom. Do you mean Pauline Lefleur, the greatest musical legend of Sancor? Of course! I'll give you one for free, if you assist me in a matter. Definitely! What is it? I've been trying to finish my magnum opus, but it keeps eluding me. It's about life and death. Your task is to venture out and listen to the sounds of the streets. Find the music for me, Louis. So you want me to bring you music? I thought I made myself clear. Uh, <laughs> perfectly. I I I'm on it. I guess we better start looking. <laughs> Oh, I only have myself to blame. All those years selling rotten vegetables. Hmm. No wonder the customers story. don't trust me. You really miss I'm him. Customer. Well, maybe he had a good That's reason for missing the recital. Someone who could Why spread the word the about my delicious candy. He's the, maybe he has a new best friend. Something was wrong. An unmistakable smell touched his nostrils. Commissaire Migraine stopped dead in his tracks. Stop. Don't stop writing. I meant stop like that is where the sentence ends. One could think you'd be able to tell the difference after 19 novels. Excusez-moi. Oh, I'm sorry, ma chérie. I, I simply can't focus in this silence. I can't believe that awful Monsieur Chevre sneaked into our apartment and stole Basil's hat. You mean confiscated it. I'm the landlord of this building, and I can't relax because of that bird shrieking. Shrieking? How dare he? Oh, poor Basil. Look at him. He's depressed. I can't write when he is depressed. Darling, I know. But your deadline. Poor bird. He can't sing without his special protective hat. Carmel! Fudge! Gummy bears! Nougat! Him. <laughs> now, all that I want is to sleep. Yes. I can't sleep while this cursed television tube isn't working. And not until I find a channel that doesn't no annoy me. No song. <laughs> Flowers are too predictable coming from me. I want her to see I've made an effort. How beautiful she looks. I thought people liked unhealthy food. Perhaps, perhaps they don't like me. Huh? 
stop laughing! That's so funny! There's ah, trumpets! Trumpets should be banned! Not to mention bassoons! Cooking show! <laughs> oh no! No, no, no! No, don't you turn on that blender! Oh, you horrible woman! What? What's this? Oh, this is what I like. It's quiet. It's restful. It's soothing. So restful. I'm soothing. So, so soothing. How could you? I only can go out there with one of my boxes and offer people a free sample. But I have to stay here and mind the shop. Only someone or something It. Shoot! Something was wrong. He could sense it. An unmistakable smell. Commissaire Migraine stopped dead in his tracks. It smelled like blue cheese. And not just any kind. Roquefort. You are a genius, Cherie. They're going to award you the Prix Goncourt. <laughs> well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> yeah. It's an acquired taste, and I guess I could learn to dig it over time. What the hey, it's a start. Let's write it down. Something sweet. Monsieur Bonbon is selling candy. Hmm. Yeah. That actually makes a lot of sense, but where are all the customers? Got a sweet tooth? Accessories! Get my chocolate out there! Oh, what do you think of this party? When you say to me, Brain, and the hidden What's that tempting smell? Hmm, a trail of sweets. How mysterious. Oh, oh I can't stand them. I hope that there's all these the instruments gathering into the delicate. Are you selling people who don't appreciate them? <laughs> You need good homes, my darlings. Yes, you do. Oh, oh no. What did that come from? Oh, that awful mess you have and it's fake flowers. I can Trying to put me out of business. Celebrate. I will not yield so easily. Oh, no. I will I not. Looking to blow away for good, forever. Get Plastic, fire, and fire. 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 What's that? Oh, flowers! In need! Oh 
idea. That smell. Chocolate. A and a hint of... Rose? You are correct, sir. <laughs> These are rose-flavored truffles. Oh, be still, my heart. Please, have a taste. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, my goodness, that is good. A box for you, monsieur? Yes! Uh, I mean, yes, please. My first customer. What a sensation. I feel like dancing or singing. Yes, maybe that'll attract even more customers. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> um, candy, candy. Uh, no, uh, it's, too, it's too much on the nose. Um, okay, uh, trying something classier. Well, it's not the sweetest tune ever, but he's trying, and that's pretty inspiring. Writing it down. Hmm, this is great stuff, but Monsieur Debussy said something about death. I wonder. Oh, dear. We have to go to the cemetery. <sighs> Follow me. very nice and homey if you're a ghost. Hmm, where to begin? Woo! Look at those bells. I bet they make nice sounds. Uh, uh, can't reach them! Uh, well, luckily, I've got my giant maestro. Take it away! Everyone's so busy these days, they don't pay attention and 
see the beauty in the things they throw away. Well, all the better for me. Oh, I, I haven't seen that piece of dirt in 15 years. Ah, it takes me back. something that's already dead, Oyster Brain. Now go away. You're ruining the ghost-friendly atmosphere. How am I... You're too cute! Look! What? It's right there! <sighs> what is? A giant ghost! Listen, kid. Maybe this is a joke to you, but it's not to me. So get lost. the dead and ask if they're up for a photo shoot. Do you know any ghosts who are visible to everyone and not just me? I should start a ghost hunt. You are so old and fashioned. No one wants to buy plastic sheets, so I should just dump them here. But my father's final words to me were, never give up, son. And he said, plastic is not the future. I don't think he meant that. The nicely lit path. Ignore the shadows. What shadows? There are no shadows. Ugh. This is worth it. I wonder what makes that super interesting and not at all blood curdling, terrifying sound. Can't wait to find out. This is 
is not what it looks like. You're not a ghost. Why, no. In fact, I work for the cemetery department. And I'm <coughs> inspecting the safety in this too. It is poor, very poor. Oh no, you're stuck. Wait, have we met before? <laughs> no, definitely not. No, no, no. Now will you please help me, please? Fudge. Again! Save me, I beg you. Just a little further. Sorry. Is this the end for the great Cory Picker? I should get a grown up. The police could help. No, I, I mean, uh, since I myself work for the town, I know how terribly busy our dear officers are. They must not be bothered. Hold on. I said those pigs, because they are literally pigs. And pigs are beautiful. I love pigs. Please don't get the police. Free at last! Now I will collect all this dangerous debris lying around this crypt and be on my way. Farewell, young fellow. Thank you. Wait! Freedom! Wait, you forgot this. What is it? Music box. It's perfect. I have to write this down. There. Mm, can't do this on my own. I need Maurice. But he broke his piano because of me. Did somebody say piano? Huh? I know for a fact there's a piano around here somewhere. Maybe your invisible friend could help you look for it. My what? Sweetie, I've got one too. Isn't that right, Ghost Dragon? No, no, no. Hush now. They're our friends. arrived. But I have to get back to my eyelid exercise. <laughs> Master. Chicken. Mm. Master. How am I supposed to move this piano? Piano, because it would crush me. What are you doing here? I, I need your help. You do? I'm supposed to compose a song for Monsieur Debussy, and I 
can't do it on my own. I'm sorry. I can't help you. My piano... I... Maybe you should have a look at it again. What? Am I still sleeping? I got you a new one. What? How? Why? It was all my fault. Louie. If I hadn't skipped the recital... But you didn't smash my piano. I did. Anyway, it was lying around, and I thought you'd put it to good use. Lying around where? How did you even get it here? It's kind of a long story, and I don't have a lot of time, but I'll tell you everything later. You promise? Promise. Here, have a look. Hmm. 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 Perhaps... Perhaps something like this. was that? That was beautiful. Monsieur Debussy will be so pleased. Louis, will you take lessons with me again? It's not the same without you. I, I miss you. I miss you too. It's just that. What? I've got to help mom. She's a musician too. She'll understand. But lessons cost money, and that's kind of a problem at the moment. Louis, are you okay? I... Uh, it's Mom. She... What on earth? Is that a piano I hear? Ahem. <clears throat> Bonsoir, Louis. Bonsoir, Monsieur Tu. How is your mother? She's fine. Really? I talked to Monsieur Tulip and... Oh, the sprained ankle. Yes, but she's much better now. I could drive you home and have a look at it. No! Well, there's no need to be rude. I'm sorry. Thank you for your kind offer, monsieur. I have to go. Madame Lefebvre is waiting for me. But I just saw her and... I better hurry. Au revoir. Louis! No, 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 no! No! This is not happening! On you. Actually, I got some help from Maurice. This is astonishing! C'est c'est beau! The cello bow, monsieur? S'il vous plaît. Of course. Here you are. Thank you, Louis. Thank you for the music. You got the cello bow, 
You practiced all night, and now... Uh, all you need to do is hang up the party lights and bake the apple pie. Piece of cake. Uh, there. Flour. Now, I need... Apples, honey, butter. Oh. Apples. Lights. The generator runs on wind power. Believe it or not. lights. Have a look around. Ah, excellent. Excellent work. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Uh, my legs definitely free now. So, uh, off you go. And, uh, I bet there's nothing useful in that locked shed over there, but... <sighs> we always keep the key in the weirdest of places, and now I have no idea where it is. Great There should be some lying around here somewhere. I put the cello.
Let's see. Um, try again, Louis. From the top. I could do it before. I can't. It's no use. Ugh, stupid. This was a stupid idea anyway. Just going to check on her. No! No! I won't let you! Louis, let go of my arm. Please! Please don't take her away! I can look after her! I'll do better! Please don't take her away! Gotta check on that pumpkin patch. Make sure my little darlings are growing. Set on winning the championship this year? <laughs> I've got a real contender. She's already as big as Louie. <laughs> Let's go outside. <laughs> Louis seems happy, doesn't he? Yes, he does. I can't believe I put him through all that. You were sick, and Louie knows that. Monsieur Tu explained it to me. I know, it's just... it's hard. I get that. Let's finish that chapter now. Something was wrong. He could sense it. An unmistakable smell. Commissaire Migraine stopped dead in his tracks. It smelled like blue cheese. Not just any kind. <gasps> Rook four. That's what I call a cliffhanger. Chilling. <laughs> I won't be able to sleep tonight. 
Woo! You know what? Your pumpkins can wait. Let's just sit here a while. Enjoy the sun. Oh, Pauline. You're right. Let's enjoy the moment. Take off. Are you leaving? Do you have to? Oh, I'm going to miss you. Louis, you gotta look at this caterpillar. It's huge. Oh. What? You can see it. Uh huh. Now you believe me? Uh huh. We had a lot of fun, didn't we? But I guess I'll never ride a cloud again. Thank you. For everything. Are you okay? Yeah. Actually, I feel great. <laughs>